Hello folks, Mr. Raven here and welcome back to Seven Days to Die. So oh, I'm still hungry. Uh, a new thing, I'm not sure if that's a setting thing that I missed or something, but the trailer's actually open at four. Which is well, different. I don't know if it's because I I might have had in my streams entered the length of the day. Uh, but we have to wait and see because if the Horde Knight starts earlier than 22. Hmm. Okay, fucker. You respect the shop rules and we'll get along just fine. Oh, you are a potty mouth. God damn. Anyways, uh, let's see here. Um, last... Last video, we did a tier one mission. Well, and uh, I guess this I'm is what we get. Who thought you had? Uh, I know I'm a little hungry, but I actually, um, while I was waiting, the knights killed a deer. You can see I used some bullets. Um, it wasn't pretty. <laughs> so, yeah. But I guess it's fine. So, um, messy you and anything enter. smart, and you'll get a new start. Let's see here. Do you have? Uh, well, if, didn't I find found found find a cooking pot? Watch uh, yourself, stranger. I know two some things. fellers that break legs for coin. Uh, we read that. Not sure when we get like a forge. I think we can see that end. And this one, I think. No. Yeah. No. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's one. Uh, forge ahead. Vehicles. Um. Am I just blind? Repair tools. Workstation? Yeah, forge. So we need one more. Right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so one more forge ahead and then we got the forge. So there's no reason to spec into it. Get it in a second here. Yeah, we got two cooking pots. So we could no no we could could make two f two uh, fireplaces. Um, so should I use which way is the base? That's that's east. Let's see if we have a mission going east so we can swing by home. All going west, northwest, west. Southwest. The shortest one is this one. I got work to do if you don't mind getting your hands dirty. Nobly, Captain. Uh, let's get one saying. thing straight. You're not working with me. You're working for me. Yeah, 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 yeah. Do you have some food? How about... these two. So that's gonna give us a little bit of food. We're going west. Northwest. <clears throat> so everything is fine here. Another horde. Well, you know what to say. It's XP. Shit. I wonder if I have some skill points to put into this baton. Start giving a little more damage. Let's uh, kite them around here. Oh, 
only got man. Why do you gotta be so rude? I'm gonna kill you anyways. Again. Please die again. I recently um, got this, uh, you know, app with um, books read out uh, read out loud, loud, audible, something like that. I don't know. It's not audible. It's another one. It's Africa. I can't even remember what it's called. Some Danish publisher. And um, we have this um, Danish uh, author called uh, Dennis Jørgensen, and he's has, he has write, uh, written a lot of books about zombies and werewolves and stuff like that. Um, but uh, the first the first couple of uh, of his books I listened to were like teenage books and and maybe kid kid books and I was like eh, maybe it's not for me and then I ended up listening to uh, one of his book called Kadawa March which is translated directly as like Corpse March or something like that and it is a really good book I can really recommend it um, Kadawa March he has um, taken inspiration in um, Tom Romero's books and films. Um, and Tom Romero is like the father of zombies. Um, he has... Um, he, he made in the late uh, 60s, I think. Oh, don't quote me on that. But he made uh, Night of the Living Dead. Um, which is a, a, Chicago, a couple of uh, people who takes refuge in a cabin and try to survive uh, a zombie. The zombie apocalypse. And, uh, and uh, the next film in the series is called Dawn of the Dead. And I think most people have heard of Dawn of the Dead. Uh, mostly because it, it had a... Uh, um, a remake uh, a couple of years ago uh, it's a group of group of people who's trying to survive in a uh, mall um, and, um, and then the last last of his film is called day of the living dead um, which is kind of these this group of people who's hanging out in a military base you know trying to Wait out. Um, oh my god, he's, he's insane. He's gonna kill me. Oh shit. Oh my freaking god. Whew, that was close. Um, and this group of people hanging out in the military base trying to wait out. Um, seeing if the Scientist is going to find um, not a cure, but something. It's gonna make them survive, and it's yeah. I'm not gonna spoil it because they're kind of kind of cult movies. So if you haven't seen them, I, I could definitely recommend you to do it. But yeah, yeah, definitely check them out. I'm, I think I'm gonna try and. Past it, this mountain with a bad knee. Maybe I should heal. Uh, 
Um, yeah, so I'm, oh, we're almost there. Let's just keep it going. I'm sorry, it's gonna be a longer video because I talked through the uh, journey. But yeah, yeah, he's taking, uh, uh, he's, he's taking, he's taking um, inspiration from that. So it's, 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 it's kind of terrifying. It's actually a pretty good book. Um, kind of wish it was, uh, was made into a film because it's actually, uh, I think it would work really well as a film as well. So yeah, Danish Sjögensen, if you're Danish. Um, it sounds almost like Swedish or German or something, but I think he's, he's Danish, if I remember correctly. Yeah, he is. Isn't he? Damn, now I'm, now I'm doubting myself. Ooh. Let me just, uh, yeah, Danish, Danish writer. Uh, he also, for you who know, um, uh, don't know, he also wrote Kærlighed ved første hik. Love at first hiccup. Um, and that was filmed in like start 2000s, I think, and came out with like three or four movies, I think. Um, I think that it ended up being called uh, Anya and, and Victor, which is the uh, Characters names. Are you right here or right in the corner here? Right in the corner. Uh, do you think there's uh, yeah there is. But it's locked. So we need to go another way. Wow. Ooh. get some of the um, cloth here and make some normal bandages. Don't know why I haven't thought about that. Okay. Don't know how many I can make, but two. <laughs> but two is better than none. Let's move these around here. Just so uh, if we get a bleeding, we can use that instead of, um... Instead of the healing one. Hers? Some money? I got some money. Oh, what I need. Okay, I can't reach it. How much do you want? Oh, it's my stomach. How much do you want to bet there's a zombie in there? Take it out before the door. What? Oh, shit. I'm, I'm getting some hit in. I'm not, I'm not happy about that. I must say. Wish I uh, didn't. Owie. Oh. 
Get your head out. Okay, so let's take that one. I feel like they kind of removed clothing as a thing. Yeah. I feel like I feel like that's what's happening. Uh, it's not because it's not fine or anything, but also a little weird. So I guess Freezing and stuff is not a thing anymore, as well. Huh. And this is gonna sound wrong, and it's not meant like that, because I'm not a console player, um, probably never will. But I don't want to dish on it because I feel like it's a, a legitimate way to get, you know, gaming. And that's kind of what we all want to do. But it seems like a little bit that they simplify some stuff. Uh, maybe because of the console. Because why would we remove the clothes and, you know, heating and... Haven't they done that? Just me assuming something here. I guess we could be freezing. Um, I've um, okay. You can maybe you can, but I can't put on clothes. Of course, I could put, you know, shoes, gloves. And hit gear on. Is that gonna break down? Oh, do you think? That's another sound. It's a stronger door than this one, I think. Yeah, way stronger. There you go. Oh shit. Oh, I didn't see that coming. The frick? Did you die? Don't have enough health for this? Yeah. Kind of a boring room. I'm sitting in here in the boring room. Just another rainy Sunday afternoon. Wasting my time, I got nothing to do. Hmm. Is this the end loot? you see anything? I can't see much. I don't know much, but I know I love you. Do we have another room? Oh, oh. There you go. Hello there. It's the lady in the blue dress. And a pony tattoo. Oh, or a rose tattoo. A rose tattoo. A rose tattoo. Ah, oh, crap. 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 Oh, shit. I feel weak. I don't want to 
feel weak. I want to feel amazing. Would you just die? Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay, grab some more of those. Let's keep the nails. Let's repair this bad boy. Let's grab the rest. I wonder, can you? Can you be on my baton? You cannot be on my baton. Mm. Weak, then I need uh, vitamins, I think. Okay, this is a little, a little more goods. Oh yeah. A plane. I'm gonna scrap that baton. Because uh, that was weak ass. Let's grab those because yeah that's also a little sauce and modify nope can't put the blade in as well oh outside maybe oh no it's a hold i'm 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 i'm, I'm not ready for a hold so let's let's get outside and run in the other direction. Another direction. Uh, how far away maybe is that thing? A uh, really far away. Let's mark it. AD for airdrop. Let's get away. I'm gonna. I'm just gonna try and voice some zombies here, and then run straight back to the trader. Because I think I have, I think I have some vitamins, some vitamins in the uh, box. And then hopefully we can be a little less weak. So, yeah, I'll see you at the trainer. I see a chicken. I want its meat. It's tender sweet meat. God, yeah. Give me your meat. Huh. That's a butt ugly chicken. Look better, uh, better, uh, of our. Don't know what's happening with the uh, graphics in this game. Do I want to take the chance? Take a chance, take a chance, take a, take a chance, chance. Well, huh. I think we got lucky. Lucky, lucky, lucky. Let's drop these things off. Oh, did we have a vitamin? No, we don't. Oh, crap. I should probably uh, sleep then, if I'm exhausted. Maybe we should just use this. Get up in health. Oh, 180. Nice. Oh, seven levels. We need to look at this. Uh... Where's my baton? Boomstick, roller, deep cuts. Is that the one? Learn how to use the baton more efficiently. Yeah, that's the one. So we need intelligence. So 
We could be a better borderer as well. And a better lockpick. Sure, why not? Deal some more damage here. Uh, two more points. I need level five in intelligence to get this one. So let's not do that one. Um, not sure if my playstyle is going to help me with the uh, with this back here with the intelligence as our main but yes it's okay uh, let's go with better Badra. actually there's something about it being Do I see that? I see that here, I think. We haven't died yet. Cool. Um, loot stage. That's the... No, that's not... That's nothing to do with bartering. I think that's fine. I think it's lucky loot. Because it's something about you being, you know, the first two levels is like 10%. So it doesn't make sense to use points in lucky looter i don't know if it did they actually remove that um no still have lucky looter yeah adds five percent to the bonus five percent of seven is like nothing it's not even one so it's better to save that so you know get your loot stage higher up is there a... Well, you proved me wrong. Now take your reward um, and get the hell out of here. Um, should we take the bullets? Because, yeah, yeah, grilled meat, but we can run home and grill some now. What's the matter? Can't find what you're looking for. Restock day seven. So did he just restock now? No, he still has the grills. He can't buy a grill. I know uh, it's mods I can use for weapons at some point, but All right, let's buy a grill. We're done doing business. Let's Get run home. No, we have to wait till the next episode because this video is already running really long. So, I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please show your support by leaving a thumbs up. If you have any questions, advice, or just want to say something funny, please do so down in the comment section below. Are you new here? Please consider subscribing. And the last thing I want to do is wish you all a great day. Have fun gaming.